really hear game audio. All right, so we're going to be getting Pythra versus Mega Man. Mega now, Munoz, what are, what's your take on this matchup here? Uh, it's Mega Man, he going to shoot, and Pythra, they're going to jump and hit him. <laughs> that's as, that's as basic as, as I could get with it. But A like, matchup yeah. as old as time, yeah. shoot versus stab. Yeah. I think shoot. Smash more I, classic. <laughs> well, I mean, IRL, I'm pretty sure shoot usually has the advantage. But um, in in the actual game, we'll see how <laughs> this plans out. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, okay. That's a difference maker right there. That uh, that insight. Yeah. Well, insight. I yeah, yeah. Could the insight be one. used against pellets? Just go right past them. Timing base, really. But mm. you'd probably be in a bad situation for trying to inside a multi-hit move. Just like put yourself in an awkward position and just take more damage than than, than necessary. All yeah, right. so far so good. Aqua doing some damage here and there. Got him off stage here. Yeah, and one thing that Aqua's doing pretty well is the spacing on the shield. Kind of understanding the limits of where Mega Man can hit. Um, and going for these down tilts, these further reaching moves. But, oh! Oh! Again, but yeah. then die for it because... You're, yeah. you're susceptible to, to shooting. Yeah, well, so <laughs> as a uh, if it, the way that move works is that even though, you know, Mithra's body is, you know, zip zap zooping all over the place, her hurt box is just going in a straight line <laughs> from the origin to where she ends up. Uh, that is, if you can react to it, it's a please hit me type move, you know? <laughs> well, I mean, if you're Mega Man who can just charge up a big meaty blast, then there isn't even that much reacting that needs to be done. Oh, yeah. Oh, the hard knuckle shutting down that up B. And now we have almost being lapped in percent over 9,000. Looking pretty good at the moment, but this is Pyra. And we know that just the sheer damage and gross stuff that Pyra can do. As we see right there, that up B taking the stock. Yeah, very powerful stuff there from Pyra. Now, the problem I feel with Lady Aqua is like they're, they're probably switching to Pyra too soon when they didn't have the damage enough yet. They had to do like the work with, with either one of the characters really just to get in on Mega Man. Who already has like the 100% lead right now. That news, get up ledge. Oh, great read on the jump. A lot of the times when people are stuck in the corner like that, you know, they're going to be pressured into choosing one option to just get out of there. And recognizing the oh. jump was going to be it. And was that meaty? It's kind of meaty. It got, it, it got neutral get up, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, that was... Just good coverage coming out from over 9,000. And uh, this is looking pretty solid. You can see that the game plan that over 9,000 has taken here is oh, just trying to stay in his ground and punish with all of just getting chip damage on all these projectiles. And oh, slowing that down does kind of give the Mithra room to perhaps break in and already 64%. Not necessarily, you know, the sort of thing that will lose over 9,000 the game, but... I mean, I at this point... Frames of that. Started up. Yeah, they're doing a really good job of just holding their ground, not over committing. Over 9,000 is just... It's chilling right now. Shoot gun, stand in place, <laughs> watch you fall for it. They already build up the damage. They already ran the marathon. They're just waiting for the person to finish it. <laughs> at this point. Yeah. Because they already won this game, I feel... One clean hit. Take it. Oh. But Aqua can turn this around. Yeah, nice. there it is. Yep. I think that was, what, the third F Smash at ledge that killed? Did all three of the stocks that were taken come from F Smash at ledge? Yeah. Yeah. Most, most of the time, it was just... Uh, over 9,000 already built up the lead. They just simply just set shot there. Yeah. Well, stood there and shot, uh, banking on Aqua not knowing the range of how how far Mega Man can hit them, and just overall just trying to brute force their yeah. way in. Yeah, I also, I do want to just dwell for a moment on, so every stock that game was basically F Smash at ledge from over 9,000, but every single one of them was a different sort of purpose and spacing of it. We had the first one that was, you know, basically intercepting the Photon Edge, uh, then the second one here was just catching neutral getup, and the third one was actually kind of hmm. catching this landing in the corner, I believe, if I remember it correctly. Yeah, they tried to land with a button, and it just yeah. got clipped. Boom, right there. But that does still mean that every single stock was 
decided at ledge. So for Aqua, you need to think about, all right, what needs to change at the ledge? What adaptations right. could be made in order to stop just, I mean, if you take damage, yeah, it stinks, but when you die, that's a whole lot worse. Yeah, never be afraid to, to time a jump and maybe switch off of uh, Pyra. As you, you're, I don't think you're, uh, you're that fast as a character when you're coming like, back on stage with her. Yeah, well, I think that the two of those were Mithra, and the last one was Pyra only because uh, they were trying to get an edge guard themselves. It was kind of, the, it, got, it got reversed on them. Yeah, brute force and kills in this game, not, not gonna work against a character like Mega Man who will just stand there and shoot you and punish you for your mis, uh, misspacing. Let's see what Lady Aqua can do about the situation. Take advantage of your long range normals too, so. I like our sword the characters. <laughs> oh, oh nice. all right. There you go. It's a good start. Switching to Pyra, a little bit on the early side, but honestly, I kind of agree with oh, it. Oh, that was such a good spot for Aqua, but they didn't capitalize off of it. Still in a good spot, though. Still uh, in a good advantage. Has a lot of decent percent build up. Oh, but here's at the ledge. It's what we were talking about before. Another forward smash. Hard Knuckle barely missing, but uh, all right. Manages to shield that one, but all right. This is actually... I was saying when you take damage, it's not as bad as dying, but uh, <laughs> that's actually a lot of damage that has been dealt at the ledge. I like switching to Pyro, just trying to use the speed to get out of there. Yeah, there you go. Wait it out. If you just say, like stand there and shooting, he's covering two things. Roll and like neutral get up. So you can either wait it out or just jump. That's not hitting the ledge. If, if I if I recall, Mega Man forward smash is not it that can, big. It can, but place, definitely but... not on this stage, I think. Oh, okay, yeah, definitely not on this stage. Shouts to slopes. Good counter pictures. Stops at least one thing from benefiting Mega Man to winning the set a lot easier compared to last game. And ledge attack, that's something we had not really seen. I don't think that necessarily over 9,000 had been giving a lot of opportunities for that, but nonetheless, it feels like Aqua is starting to adjust and take advantage of the Backer. small openings that over 9,000 is giving. Right has to find an opening here. Both are just sitting in the shield. All right, that was maybe a little bit too much patience from over 9,000. Kind of sat there and shield really anticipating the encounter Ooh. attack, but that roll is going to get punished. Another F smash at the corner at the ledge is going to do it. And that back air, not enough. Wow. Mega Man head boy. Yeah, Aqua has to figure out some sort of approach here they can take on the Mega Man who has their feet planted in the ground. That was a good kill right there. But consistency has to build from it, so. They gotta get the yeah. lead, and I gotta like just like dance around them as the Mega Man's dancing around them. If that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Forward throw. Pressure. All, All right. right. Those forward smashes not hitting the way that they had been in the game one. Oh, that. that Again, shout out to the slopes that this counter pick. Good choice. Good choice. That is a good switch. Put the pressure on them, don't let them escape. Oh, that leaf shield, the hitbox on it was just way too big. Even when it does like that Pyra neutral B was <laughs> just got stuffed out. Yeah, not. Oh, nice can! That's the second time that Aqua has gone for that sort of descending neutral B, but both times. Over 9,000 has just punished it, and I like that actually. So, because he because there have been those slow, you know, approaches with the down B, or sorry, the, the neutral B rather, instead that time they throw out the down air. So, Ooh, definitely wow. starting to mix up the approaches, even if it is kind of, you know, a bit of a, you know, more sort of choosing option B instead Ooh. of A. Oh, okay. That up smash oh, the and that too. Taunt. Pop it off. Don't pop off too early. You're down the game. <laughs> But being up a stock against Mega Man is really big. Um, when you, I mean, it, okay, so even though things are completely even right now, it's okay. the, the difference between being even with Mega Man and being down a stock against Mega Man. You know, even though it's like, oh, well, you know, you just need a single, you know, hit in order to, you know, make things even. Uh, when Mega Man knows you're looking for the kill, he can totally change the way he plays neutral. And that makes yeah. it monumentally harder to deal with. Yeah, Over 9000 doing a good job of 
of reacting to Aqua's approaches. Making it very hard for them to, to gain a lead here. Like even on like some like like jump ins on, on Pyronormals, they they've just been anti airing them. Just keeping themselves covered. Doing a good job holding this lead here. Oh! Almost get the kill. Yeah. Oh, that could be big, possibly. You know, so for the most part, over 9,000, one thing he's doing really well, he's not getting those sort of, you know, when he's trapping Aqua at the ledge, it's not getting turned around on him. He gives space when he needs to, to just still maintain stage control and not get, you know, thrown off stage himself. And yeah. now we're at the point where this is a kind of end game for over 9,000, looking for a lot of these hard hitting moves just outside of the range of that standing grab and the falling part of the up B. It's not enough to do it, but that has to remind him that Pyra is yucky strong. One, like probably a forward air or back air at the ledge might do it at this point. And it's other player's game. Rolls into, rolls into his face and gets away with it. Smash reactions on Wi-Fi. Oh! Forward smashes are coming out. <laughs> Nothing's being done about it, though. Oh, the shield. Oh, that was so oh. smart! And Good that's it. Stuff. Off the top. Yeah, ends up sort of... Pr so pressures the shield with the down air. And... Knowing that there was no exact... At that range, I don't think there was any exact punish that uh, Mega Man could have gone for here. Just intercepts the jump. <clears throat> and yeah, I think yeah, if that like... if that didn't land on if that didn't explode on the top platform, would that still have killed? I think that it depends on how the uh, over nine thousand DRs is. I'm still new to the character. I don't know how you're supposed to DI off the first hit, <clears throat> but I've seen people escape it. Hmm. I've seen people escape in certain situations. Um. But yeah, okay. that was pretty much like confirmed that they didn't know how to get out of it. Yeah, and over so, 9,000 shield was cooked, so they had no choice but to jump out the situation. Unfortunately, Pyro has one of the better anti-airs in the game with that LB. It's just like, oh, I caught you jumping? Die. Yeah. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> that was some really nice adaptation on Aqua's part. But I do think you had said it quite a few times. The stage was really, really good for them. And now that we're oh, moving yeah. into game three, we have overnight thousands counter pick and i think first of all we're not going to be seeing triplats though and we're not going to be seeing those okay we are actually seeing triplats <laughs> tri without the uh <laughs> i i mean we'll see how this goes at the very beginning of the game you saw how um aqua was using those triplats in order to get some really nice extensions on the combos and then at the end there one of the reasons why they went for the up b when they did was because of the added extra safety of having the top platform you land on instead of landing in their face yeah, it's still like they're susceptible to getting killed by Pyro, no matter like what they throw out. That their that their game is strong. Oh, oh. good blocks. Yeah, because <laughs> your shield could have been devastated if, if you were poked into that forward smash. Nice little combo, keep the pressure going. The weakest I've seen this character is off is off stage, so it's, it's good on uh, on over to. Keep applying those like projectiles, interrupting so much of their game plan off stage. Yeah, okay. It's making it hard for them. Yeah, those forward smashes, just over 9,000, using them really, really well. The back throw, recognizing the held shield, the spacing on that up B was fantastic, but Aqua still trapped at the corner, finally manages to mm. find a move to get out of there. And I love the insta switch to Pyra going for a much meatier hit after the little opening that they had managed. And, I mean, this is kind of kill hit situation Ooh. for both of them. Pyra can absolutely kill if the right yeah, hit lands, it which it does. I think that was neutral air, and neutral air is still more than enough. And Oh, mm, no, you tucked into it. It's all right. It, that sucks. situation, probably you should DI towards off the stage. And just, like, or air dodge to ledge or something like that, right? Something like that. Um... <laughs> Close enough at the ledge that that probably could have just be eyed on off to it. Or tech roll in, maybe you you get the invul from it in order. You to do, escape but the like, smash. I feel like Mega Man might even be able to punish that because they were pretty far away. Yeah. yeah. Rough spot though, rough spot. Can't yeah. say like what the right answer is whenever you you see it happen. Oh, nice combo. 
Yeah, both are even right now. So, depending on this stock, it might uh, be the momentum changer for it. Uh, Aqua's like doing their best to jump in on them when, and not letting uh, Mega Man shoot them for free. While well, Ova's like doing their best like, to let the percentage like <gasps> what really get that high. Nice what, kill there from the up tilt. Did Pyro just stood still? Like, what, what happened? Did I, I think they it? taunted by accident or something. I don't know. That was strange. I, I have to look oh, back get at to it. see it on the replay. Yeah. yeah. But in the meantime, that is a massive, massive stock loss. We were talking before about how hard it is, you know, fighting against Mega Man with a stock down. And this is like a stock and a half down, yeah. you know. It's switching to Pyra, maybe looking for a cheeky kill with a forward smash or a dash attack actually almost does it. That's an option we hadn't seen Aqua use at all, really. Um, still wasn't able to actually kill, but the, here's the thing, though. Now they're kind of locked into Pyra because they need to get the kill and switching to Mithra at this point. You know, that's not going to really help them do that. But, all right, let's. I could stand very corrected here. Mithra does have a really solid neutral, and let's see if... This Mithra switch might be able to crack on some percent, maybe put him off stage. Oof. Stop talking like that. Can you punish super hard? Yeah, this is a, this is a good choice to force the, force the Mega Man into a bad spot, then switch the Pyro for the for the kill attempt. Yep, and there we see the bad spot and the switch. But, oh, look at... Look, one thing is that over 9,000, even in the corner, feels pretty safe. <laughs> just able to throw out pallets, just... Uh, perhaps another dash attack is in order. Something to burst through, or, you know, like that side B, maybe? We'll see, because Aqua needs to come Ooh, up with these no, answers so quickly. Yeah, they're ah. dead. And no choice but to do that, and then yeah. just force in the forward smash. I mean, up there to over 9,000. Yep, over 9,000 is going to be taking the set 2-1, moving on in winner's bracket. A very, very smart Mega Man player right there. Just calmly approach the, the neutral. <laughs> Had a lot of situations where it just, just just danced around Pyro, and then once they got the lead, they didn't really overcommit. The overcommitting thing is, is very key here to, to not throw your leads away. And oh, over yeah. doesn't really take advantage of this. See the second slugger here. What happened? Yeah, they taunted. What is that? What is happened? Can we get, I'm go, sorry, back, we, go, we, go back. Go back. Go back. <laughs> you almost like... saw Rex. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's just like, yeah, go Pyro. <laughs> it's like Rex, you're distracting her. <laughs> <laughs> he just had one frame of Rex. Like, oh yeah. no! <laughs> that, oh oh like, no, what a, Rex! It, what it, would you do? Of all the misinputs to ever have. Also, I crazy. cannot believe that. It's good stuff, Devin, for finding like the first Rex frame. Just that frame perfect immediately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just showed up to cheer her death. Like, <laughs> that's why he's not playable. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs>